everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so this is my curly hair routine video I just woke up I'm getting ready to go to work I wanted to film now because I went to bed with my hair wet so I wanted to show you how my hair dried I filmed the curly hair routine last night so we'll cut to that shortly but this is how my hair dried I often go to sleep with my hair wet because with curly hair it takes a long time for my hair to dry it takes a few hours before it's fully dry and so I don't like to shower and wash my hair in the morning and then my hair is not dry until noon so this is how it dried and I am going to now just try to manipulate it I mean this is freshly slept on and uh, yeah so this is it I tried to film this like right when I rolled out of bed and that's funny I'll probably insert a clip you know it is 6 30 in the morning so I'm having difficulty even focusing on things well that was brilliant I'm brilliant in the morning it is, so I decided to wake up a little and then show you guys I will usually be able to wear this for a few days till it ends up in like some sort of messy bun. And I'm, now I'm gonna manipulate it. I probably will just clip half of it up or something. So that's it. And now we're going to cut to the part where I show you what I do after I get out of the shower to get my hair to dry like this. So this is a video that a lot of you have been asking for and it's my curly hair routine. Now I want to start off by saying a few things. I don't do the same thing every time. It kind of depends how I want my hair to turn out. Sometimes I want my hair to turn out really defined and just kind of lay as flat as possible and that is more of a professional look, a more clean look, and sometimes I want my hair to be fluffier and a little more wild woman and that is kind of how I prefer my hair actually. I think it's just more fun and it's also more comfortable because I can just kind of let it do what it wants. It really has a mind of its own sometimes. And a lot of you are probably wondering if I do curly girl and I don't. I am not a strict curly girl. I don't even really know all that much but I know what I need to know I feel. I started learning about curly girl and then when I heard I got to the part where you're not supposed to use any heat ever and I was kind of like rec rec record scratch. And I was just like, wait. So with anything I feel, anything in life, I learned what I needed to about Curly Girl and I took what works for me and I just kind of leave the rest. There are some other strict things as far as ingredients in your hair care products that I do agree with, but I don't adhere to strictly either. Everything from no heat ever to using the praying hands method to run product through your hair, it's just all so very strict, all so very much the same thing you're supposed to do with your hair. All the time and that's not enough variety for me with my hair. In this video I am going to show you the routine that I use to get a more defined clean professional looking curl and then if you'd like I will do another video where I show you how I get the more wild woman look. This is what I use to wash my hair. There are three ingredients that you're supposed to just avoid with curly girl method and that's sulfates, silicones, and alcohols. This is living proof timeless. I showed you this in a review video. I am really bummed out with Living Proof. I thought I had found a really decent semi-affordable hair care line that was working for me and they were cruelty free. I'm cruelty free. But they recently went and sold to Unilever. So Unilever is not cruelty free. It's every small company's dream to sell for millions of dollars and then go retire somewhere. I used this as well. This is apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I got these both at TJ Maxx and I used these to cleanse and clarify my hair. This is decent. It seems like it works. I got it for $5.99. They had a whole bunch by this brand Nature Love. I couldn't find much on them when I was there at TJ Maxx and I looked them up. It smells like green apple, so it is scented, artificially scented in order to smell that way. And then... I used this hair mask. This is the Moroccan Gold hair mask. This was in the FabFitFun winter box. This has really good reviews. I think it's good. I don't have wonderful things to say about it. So that's what I used in the shower. It is a good idea to make sure that your hair is all combed out before you get into the shower. Your hair is much more susceptible to breakage when it is wet so you want to be very very careful use a wide tooth comb to get this look that I've been describing which is the really defined curl is you want to put your hair product in when your hair is still very wet so my hair has had some time to dry so I have my 
spray bottle with water. If this is not something that you have in your bathroom, I highly recommend having a spray bottle with water. It is, I use it almost daily to fix my hair, touch up my hair or whatever. And it, it's supposed to be dripping wet. So I'm getting it really soaked. Lately I have been, and I use, I've been talking about this a lot too. I've been using this Mar Marrakesh oil, the argon and hemp oil therapy. I love this. It smells really nice. It's got a really thick consistency and I don't put a whole lot on but I do put this on on and I concentrate it on the ends. I don't know if you can see this but there's about it's spreading out but I put about a quarter size amount into my hand and Oh, it smells so good. It's like it's like an incense smell. So if you imagine walking into like a really high-end new age store and they have a really nice incense burning, but it's not it's not too smoky and overwhelming. It's it's like that but better. Okay, so I do this and I just concentrate it on my ends. You don't want to, especially if you're one of those rare curly hair girls who has oily hair, you don't want to put this too much toward the top. And the real key with this is that you make sure that you're your hair is dripping wet when you put in your final product and I realize I need to angle you guys a little bit lower okay there now you have the contrast of the white wall so yeah so I'm not you're supposed to go like that and use the praying hands method not for me okay now I'm going to wet it even more having your hair this wet when you distribute the product really ensures that you get an even distribution that is key to getting your hair very evenly curly and not having those frizzy spots i have been using and i have been loving this ag hair care recoil curl activator this stuff is amazing it smells a little bit like cherry like shirley temple type cherry like grenadine cherry not like actual cherries but i like the smell a lot i like it a lot i got this on sale on ulta and i highly recommend it i put the oil in and then i made sure that my hair is all soaking wet actually it could be a little wetter so when I want to be more wild women, I the drier my hair is when I put my product in, the more wild women my hair gets. So I put in a lot. I put in five pumps on each side of the curl activator. And then I just start, always start at the ends. I always start at the ends. So let's see. And I just kind of gently run my fingers through it. So I am being gentle. This is again where you would do the praying hands method, but you'll see when we start squishing our hair that you get a really even distribution of product by having your hair this wet. I'm sorry, I'm using the finder as a mirror. Uh, by having your hair this wet when you put the product in, and you're gonna hear it. I'm gonna to see if I can make it so that you can hear it. You'll hear that squish when you squeeze your hair. So we're gonna do it. Ready? And that really, just with the water and everything, ensures that the product just gets everywhere. And that is it. That is it. I'm gonna do this on the other side and I will show it to you sped up, and then I will show you how I kind of finish up and let it take shape, and I do, oh, some of you are probably wondering if I do plopping. I've done plopping once. I tend to just let my hair air dry. Uh, plopping does work. It does work. Okay, now this side, I'm gonna do the same thing, essentially. So I'm gonna do this, and I will just speed up the camera. It's hot, you guys. It was so, so cold for so long, such a long winter, and now we're having a heat wave, and so I was complaining about the cold, complaining about the cold, and now it's hot, and I'm like, I'm like, it's so hot! I'm like Goldilocks over here. So this still isn't wet enough. Soaking wet, you want it soaking wet. Okay, so I'm going in with my hair oil. 
I find that I don't need the hair oil every time. I just love the way this smells and I do think it helps smooth out the ends, just that extra little amount that could be necessary, who knows. This curl activator stuff is so amazing, the AG Hair Care Curl Activator. It's so amazing that it works on its own. It works just fine on its own. And the great thing about it is that while your hair is drying with the AG Recoil Curl Activator, while your hair is drying, it will feel really crunchy. It'll feel like it's gonna dry crunchy and then your hair dries and it feels like there's absolutely zero product in it, which is a godsend. Okay, now let me get all this, all of this hair. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not bald. So five pumps. And then rub it between your hands, like that. And then, I'll make sure you guys can see, so. And then just like this, gently just kind of run it along. And then I lift a little bit of the top, and then I just run like that. And then I lift a little bit more, and then I run more product on the other hand, the product that I had on the other hand that I hadn't used yet. This is where I will take a layer of my hair and then I'll run some and then I'll take it another layer up and then I'll run some more. That way it gets kind of an even distribution. But again, when your hair is this soaking wet and you put in the product, when you do the squish thing that I showed you, that gets such an even distribution of product in your hair. And if you have even like the slightest wave, you definitely wanna adjust the amount of product you use, but this method will give you a really nice, silky, defined wave or looser curl if your curls are looser than mine. My curls can be really, really tight if I really let them do what they want. So, here we go. You hear that? That's how you know. That's how you know. And so, let me see if I can show you guys this. I want to contrast it with the wall. I'm not sure if you can tell, but all of the curls are like already separated and defined on their own. Now, my hair is separated, right? So now is the part where I put everything together. Oh, I have the two wet spots, forgive me. <laughs> and then I run my hands like this. Okay, so here's where, if I want my hair to be more flat to my head, I will just Make sure that the part stays in the middle, and I will just start scrunching. I will just start scrunching again now that my hair is all kind of combed out and not just in two sections on either side of my head. I will do that. If I want it to have a little more volume at the top, I will run my hands like this through the top and just do this and then I will flip my head over and scrunch my hair upside down. But right now I have a really, really even distribution of product in my hair. Right now what I will probably do is I will kind of leave it like this and then I will just scrunch it on either side and make sure that there's a nice defined looking curl. And if you know that you have an even distribution of product and you're liking the way your hair looks wet, you're gonna like the way it looks when it dries. If you know that you're using a product that you like. There are some products that are just not so good. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. I will show you how it dries and hopefully this will be helpful. This is probably the first in a series of curly hair routines because like I said, I do different things depending depending on what turnout I want with my hair. So I am just going to flip my hair over. I'm just gonna let it dry like that. This product is amazing. You can use it on its own and it's awesome. It's really awesome. That's it, that's this episode of Curly Hair with Kate. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope it was helpful for you and I will see you later. Bye.